so um, we have stories this week, and you got your wish. I don't think there's anything poop related this week. <laughs> Finally, you got here without a poop show. Did you hear that, universe? Everything I've ever wanted is finally coming. There was a week without a terrible poop story in the news. That we know of. But still, yeah. that counts. Ugh. Grady, get down from the... Don't attack the... God, attack him with green screens. And everyone in the chat room, no, Nash does not bring me in just for the poop stories. I don't have a poop contract. Gross. That, that's an idea, though. Ugh, a poop nice. contract. All right. Anyway, let me get the intro rolling. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And we're going to start with the follow-up story. I'm this fucking guy. Um, you may have, have, I don't know if you've been keeping up with it. We've, we've been, we've been following this guy's career over the past few months. Um, there's a gentleman who believes the earth is flat and designed, a, yeah. de designed a steam powered rocket to prove that the earth is flat. After two failed attempts to launch his rocket, he finally has launched it. Oh, well, good for him. Kind of. Oh. Mad Rocket Man launched himself into California sky and crashed. Uh, he went up just like the self-taught rocket scientist always pledged he would. He came back down, too, in one piece, a little dinged up with his steam power vessel, a little cracked up. Still, mission accomplished for a guy more daredevil than engineer who drew more comparisons to the cartoon character Wiley Coyote than he did the iconic stuntman Evil Knievel. Mike Hughes, the rocket man who believes the Earth is flat, propelled himself about 1,875 feet into the air Saturday before a hard landing in the Mojave Desert. Now, I want to point out something. Part, part of his, his plan to do this was to prove the Earth was flat. <laughs> he launched himself 1,875 feet in the air. And all of you are going, wow, that's really high. Um, The Sears Tower is 1,500 feet tall. <laughs> so he launched himself about 300 feet higher than the Sears Tower. So if he wanted to, to learn the world was round, he could have simply gone taken to, an elevator up and looked or airplanes the other means of flying that we have airplanes go to about 30,000 feet from which you can look out of the airplane outside the window cuz they have those also airplanes don't have to go straight up they can take you up and go as far as you want with enough fuel to find the edge of that earth you've been looking for. Yes. Uh, so, um... The picture. The picture? <laughs> oh, the picture. It looks like such a majestic moment, like everything's about to go right, and you know it doesn't. No. And there's people there, they got some cars, and all those people down there, I just imagine half of them are going, this guy. Uh. Oh, but wait, he... he... We find out why he actually did this. Um, okay. Quote, my story is really incredible. I got a bunch of storylines, the garage built thing. I'm an older guy. It's out in the middle of nowhere, plus the fat earth. The problem is this brings out all the nuts. Also, people questioning everything. It's the downside of all this. Who are you calling nuts, sir? His future plans are simple. Fill out the paperwork to run for governor. Huh. Quote, this is no joke, you said, I want to do it. So, what this guy did was he built the Flat Earthers into giving him money to build this crowdfunded steam rocket that proved absolutely nothing, but got so much media attention, he's going to use it to launch his career as a political candidate. He got money for that? 
He'll get money to run for governor. Yeah, he's he's pretty much just bilking. He's he's a scam. It's a scam. He's actually fucking admitting he's a goddamn scam. <laughs> what? He did all this as a publicity stunt. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. For, there's two things I take out of this one. Relieved, he said after being checked out by paramedics, I'm tired of people saying I chickened out and didn't build a rocket. I'm tired of that stuff. I manned up and did it. Awesome. You sure showed everyone. Two, can you imagine the debates for the governor's office when this guy runs against anyone? What, what, what's going to happen? Like, the moderator's going to go, so your thoughts on the wildfires going on on southern and western California? The earth is not round! And that's it. She's just going insane. What do we do? This is California, right? Yeah, it's California. So. Hooray. This... I, I don't... <laughs> Welcome to modern I'll... politics. Well, yes. Illinois had a problem with that. Was it last week with who they voted or who got that? Yes. He's not the, yeah, there's other. There's big... there's a Republic, one of the, the Republican nominees for a, I believe it's a House seat. One of the, Congress. yeah. The Republican no nominee is a out and out, loud and proud, brown shirt Nazi. Holocaust denier to an yep. extreme. Yep. So you have this guy in Illinois. You have the flat earth governor in California. I, I So... I keep thinking also, just going back to the flat earther guy, I don't want to think about um, Nazi house. Hate Illinois Nazis. Yeah. Ugh. Hate them. What was the thing about that? Um, aren't we just supposed to run them off the highway like in the movie? That would be a good plan. I, I, I can't see anyone denying it. Yeah. But with this flat earth governor, this is his third attempt, right? And he didn't die. Okay. Three strikes, you're out. Stop. <laughs> Stop trying. You're going to get uh, everyone else hurt, too, if you keep this up. Uh, well, speaking of getting everyone else hurt, um... <laughs> that's an awful segue, Nat. It is. I'm good at them. Um, oh, my gosh. So, uh... McDonald's keeps getting themselves in the news, although, admittedly, this time it's not their fault. Um... We keep having these stories about people going into the McDonald's and causing a ruckus because they, yeah. they don't get things how they want them. This guy kind of took it to a bit of an extreme. I, and I, I just... Rampage over Nick's McDonald's burger order. Oregon man, 37, asked for 30 double cheeseburgers. An Oregon man went on a rampage after McDonald workers would not make him 30 double cheeseburgers. According to the cops, Jebediah Ezekiel Fulton. That is a biblical name. That's almost Amish. Yeah. Uh, sought to purchase the cheeseburger hall earlier this month at a McDonald's in Sutherland. Uh, when told the cheeseburgers would not be forthcoming, Fulton, picture it right, became upset and caused a disturbance. Fulton destroyed a banner and attempted to destroy their golden arches. Did he try to climb up like shimmy up the pole? Let's pause it. Let, let, let's let's yeah. let all this soak in. First of all, 30 double cheeseburgers. That's 60 patties. McDonald's does not have that many ready at any one time. No, they can't even fit on the grill at the same time. No. For There's no chance. No. So... Already, you know, if you want an order like that, I'm sure McDonald's will accommodate you if you pre-order it or something yeah. or catering or something. You can't just walk in there and go, give me 30 double cheeseburgers. They, it doesn't work. Secondly, if told you cannot have them to attempt to scale the sign and smash the golden arches accomplishes what? <laughs> what is your plan? That is some rage for not getting your bad double cheeseburgers, too. These aren't Five Guys double cheeseburgers, no. either. These are McDonald's. They're a dollar at best. And I want to stress, Five Guys burgers, they aren't the best things in the world. I've had better no, burgers. No, that's fine. But they're but... still better McDonald's. 
Yes, agree. That's what I'm getting at. Shit, if you go to if you go to Five Guys and order, order one double cheeseburger, that's about as much meat as 30 double cheeseburgers at McDonald's. So you're already I set. Just, you actually know the meat from Five Guys too. It's actually the meat you're expecting. Yeah. Yeah, you get the you don't get the mystery of what animal and what boot part and what shoe rubber, you know. Hey kids, just for fun, Google pink slime. Oh, is that the chicken nugget stuff? No, that's 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 part of the uh, whole thing that goes into the 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 burgers. In Mc- Stop telling kids to look up gross food products from McDonald's. That what? you're a bad influence. I don't Be want- like this guy who shimmies up the. I, that's the other thing too. Was this guy on something? And he thought he could shimmy up there and be King Kong on the McDonald's arches. I don't and know. How- <laughs> well, and after a McDonald's worker confronted him, which probably was get the fuck down. Yeah. Uh, Fulton grabbed the color collar of the employee's shirt. A witness who feared for his life then displayed a firearm. So somebody there who was armed. You, you, great. Now someone's pulled a gun. Congratulations. <laughs> What else can we add to this story? 30 double cheeseburgers, a guy on top of the McDonald's arches, an armed civilian. What else? It's like an improv game. We we could add more things. What's going on? Uh, Look at the mugshot, too. That guy actually kind of looks like he's accomplished something. He's happy. He's like, yeah. (laughs) Show them. Let's burn this motherfucker down, Pookie. Let's burn this motherfucker. Oh my gosh. Oh, they have the picture of the sad McDonald's below his mugshot. Yeah. Aw. At least you didn't do drive through for it. Boy, that would have cost a mess. Oh. Well, oh God, this is the next one. All right. I've had I've had to deal with this before. I'm sure everyone has. Have you ever had to deal with something broken on your street that's the responsibility of the city? Like a really nasty ass pothole or a street sign or something? Yep. And you have to call them and ride them to come out and fix it. Yeah, and they won't. Well, okay, this 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 company, the power company in, in Rhode Island, did in fact fix this utility pole, but they have a very, shall we say, broad interpretation of the word fixed. Come on, Rhode Island. <laughs> Your budget's not that bad. <laughs> Providence telephone pole held together with duct tape. Come on. Providence man is expressing concern about a telephone pole that's held together with duct tape. A tr- oh my gosh. A truck damaged the pole on River Avenue three weeks ago. Neil Rogers said National Grid was called the same day. It definitely needs to be fixed. <laughs> I think it's a danger to the community, actually. It could fall on my house. A touch. <laughs> and here's the best part. National Grid said a supervisor checked out the poll and deemed it to be safe. That's fine. It's it's duct tape. It's not going anywhere. I get zero overtime, Charles. I'm clocking out. It's fine. (laughs) Come on. A teenager could have done that. I duct taped the poll back to... There's still snow on the ground, too. Ugh. Well, I, I yeah I get it. Like, you may not have the parts to replace an entire telephone pole that day, mm-hmm. but when you can just knock on that neighbor's door, hey, you got duct tape, <laughs> and that's literally what they could have done. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> that's so dangerous. Also, um. When moisture gets onto the adhesive side of duct tape, what happens? It comes loose. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to fall. And it's snow on the ground. It's the winter. Yeah. Oh. This, this is just, I, I love that they the, 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 the company said, well, our supervisor said it was fine. Sorry. You're going to have to take up with his supervisor if you want to talk about that to him then. I I do have to point out, this is why local news still exists. Yeah. yeah. Because even at, even at little podunk, little fucking whatever towns, some motherfucker going to be trying something and they don't back down until the shit shows up on the local news and they're shamed into backing down. There's four pictures on there. You have to click on the other pictures. The third picture, like actually shows from far away. It's already leaning. Yeah, there it is. 
oh my gosh, guys, what do you mean that's okay? I can see the angle. It's going to fall. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> There's only two like bands of duct tape and that's it? Yeah, I... It'll be fine. It, it was the end of the roll. What do you want me to do? Target's like three miles away. <laughs> Come on. You can see it though. Like the stop sign's not even level with the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so horrifying. Oh. Well, like, what would you even do? Like if you lived right at that corner? Uh, I, I don't even know. And that I just... You just I, you just look outside the window and wait. <laughs> Maybe if the wind doesn't blow in that direction, I'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, next up, Suffolk, Virginia. Um, you know, I there there have been many inspirational stories of people who have um different problems, physical issues, still managing to accomplish great things in their lives. Mm hmm. Paralympics are a true testament to that every four years. And then there's this asshole. <clears throat> Pilot who blamed crash on prosthetic leg gets weeks in jail. Suffolk, what? Virginia. An unlicensed pilot who blamed his plane crash on his prosthetic leg has been sentenced to two weeks in jail. Robert Gray Jr. <laughs> pled guilty in December to flying without a license. Authorities had warned him repeatedly not to fly. The Virginia Pilots reports that the U.S. Department of Transportation lost an, launched an investigation of Gray in 2016 after receiving a tip he was flying without a license. The investigator spoke to him again in 2017 about another incident. The following month, Gray crashed as he tried to land a 1972 Piper aircraft. He was not hurt. Gray told Ow. FAA inspector he had no feeling on his right side and suggested his prosthetic leg became stuck in the brake, causing it to spin out. Listen here, officer. You see this? And it wasn't for this. What's the argument? He's trying to gain sympathy. He crashed the plane. He's trying to gain sympathy because he's missing a leg. <laughs> As I... Even though that, the fact he never should have been up there because he shouldn't have been flying the fucking duh. It's the second word of the story. Unlicensed. Unlicensed. He has no reason or legal ability to fly a plane. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it's no, it's not that you don't have a leg. Yeah, that's that's regardless. That's the least of your problems. It's that you don't have a license. How did and no you crashed! How did no one get hurt in this? I don't even... Oh my gosh. And also, that's not a newer plane. What year was that? 72. Yeah, a little bit on the older side now. Well, that's the thing about airplanes. They keep them flying for fucking ever because they're expensive. Apparently not if this guy's crashing them like that. I was... Oh, God man. God damn it. Did he... Okay. Did he say why he was flying the plane? No. So we don't know why that he, it was. It was just a joyride. That's the only answer. He's just he was doing it just to show that he could. But the unlicensed one-legged man <laughs> who crashed an airplane. You find that man. <laughs> you find him. I don't care. Uh, oh. I'm glad. Hey, I'm glad he didn't crash anything public or anything like that. Because from the sounds of it, that could have happened. But. Man, that's messed up. If that really is what it is, though, he was trying to get sympathy after he was busted. Oh, you, you just gave me my next segue. Speaking of trying to get sympathy after you awesome. got busted. Awesome. So we are in an age. We are in an age where pretty much. And, and it, call, it comes back to this. I've said this phrase so many years and it served me so well. No one wants to see your dick. No one does. <laughs> That's correct. Someone may may be interested in seeing your penis, but it's safe to assume that no one does. And unless otherwise instructed, refrain. Right. Well, this this fucking You sold the story so well to me, Nash. I can't wait to see. This this is a lawyer, everybody. Oh. 
Toronto solicitor removed from lawyer role after bizarre explanation for trust fund breaches. Listen okay. to this. Toronto solicitor Stephen John Connolly was the best in the business when it come, came to bizarre explanations for not doing his job or keeping commitments. When an angry client turned up to his office in 2013 and demanded her file and $2,000 deposit back, McConnelly, 38, pulled out his mobile phone and showed her photos of his testicles. <laughs> He'd had trouble with testicular cancer, he said, and pointed to a scar on, its, on a testicle in one of the photos as proof. So, so, <laughs> please give me a rundown of what's happening. My brain's hurting. You have an unhappy client who wanted her deposit back. Yeah. And his response was, okay, yeah, but I had what? nut cancer. Look, <laughs> are we okay now? Look at, you see the scar on my testicle right there. We're good now, right? This fixes it. You understand. This is worth more than $2,000. Come on, lady. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, and this, guy's, this guy's a lawyer, you said? Yes. Well, he's not anymore. Okay, good. He was. How, and where is his mind to step A equate to step B? Like, the okay, this will get this all leveled out. Everything's going to be okay and even for this lady if I show her this. Luke. Luke. Look at his phone. <laughs> that you sir need to go to bed. You are all, you are grounded. <laughs> Every time I do a base me laugh. <laughs> what was all Joey's head? <laughs> <laughs> and this I, is in Canada too I just how this like look feel sorry for me I had nut cancer see it, whose mind is that going to make anything better how long has he had that photo on his phone and who else did he show that I to? know how many people does he go hey man uh, look you're a little short on the gas I can't pay <laughs> Cancer! Look! There's the scar right there! That's my I testicle! Have, I have four dollars I have four dollars and left on my testicle cancer photo. Can you charge that? <laughs> just just go. I don't want to see just go. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Just fucking go. Oh, because that lady was not the first. There's no. no way. That was not the the first step of that plan. And this this is a lawyer. He had to know that the minute you're showing someone else your genitals in a professional capacity, something is not happening in a good legal way. He told the NSW Civil and Administrative Tribunal he'd done nothing wrong. Yeah, no. Well, this is in addition to a lot of, uh, of conduct breaches. Um, he also mismanaged money, all sorts of other bullshit. And, like, a lot of stuff for a lot of people. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. And his solution was, but my balls, though! But my balls! There are so many memes. Oh, that. Jed the Jedi. The ball was in his court. Sir! Oh. You are better than that sense of humor. Oh. That was... Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Last one tonight. On a side note before you pull it up. Uh -huh. There are already so many memes of Nickelback's photograph with him holding up a photo. It's a graph or it's a faux. Don't put the actual picture of testicles on that thing that Chad Kruger's holding up. They're gonna. That's gonna just gonna. undo all the damage we tried, all the work we tried to push away that song. <sighs> so finally, I've had a very public go round with my former ISP, Comcast. Awful. Um, they they could not. This basic stream that I'm doing right here, that everyone is at, presumably enjoying right now, uh, was beyond Comcast's very scant 
resources to make possible. Um, so I have, uh, I, I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for internet service providers, but in this one instance, I think I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt because they got, and it's, it is, of course, Florida. <laughs> Stolen cable repair truck leads to Spectrum Internet outage. Uh-oh. Spectrum Internet uh, service for portions of Rockledge and Coco remained down for several hours on Wednesday after police say a 25-year-old man stole a repair truck routing fiber optic cable. The resulting outage affected up to 5,000 customers, including businesses and residents. Oh, it gets better. What? The $100,000 truck hitched to a $50,000 trailer filled with tools and other equipment was recovered at 5.30 a.m. Wednesday at a Denny's restaurant parking lot. Several police agencies were affected. Also, officers had to use backup radios after the cables were snapped. Authorities uh-huh. say the suspect, Shane Younger, took off in the Ford truck as Spectrum repairmen were spooling out fiber optic cable during a repair job. The person appeared out of nowhere and stole the truck. Oh. Um, the damaged cable could cost as much as $10,000 to repair. Police were alerted uh, by the sheriff's office that the truck was seen pulling into the parking lot at Denny's. Police say Younger had gotten out of the vehicle, walked into the restaurant to use the restroom, a dispute ensued after Younger sat at the bar and told a waitress that, quote, someone was trying to kill him. Well, they are now. Spectrum is going to destroy this man. Oh, my. If they weren't before, they because, you know, someone was in the middle of spanking it. And their porn cut out right in a second. And they couldn't finish because of this guy. An entire guild in Coco was on the final raid in World of Warcraft. And it just crashed it because just of crashed. this man. It just fucking crashed. 20 angry nerds are now pulling out butter knives from their mother's like closets and doors and chasing you down the street. Why the fuck? Okay, why how are you just walking along and say, hey, I can take that? No! <laughs> no, it's not like the door's open, it's free, right? No! It, also, those cable cars, those trucks, they're not the small, just generic Prius cars. No, they they're big. huge. And this one had a trailer? Yeah, here, here's the picture right there. It's Ugh. Big ass truck. Yeah! He just sort of went, bye, no, you just, uh, this looks like on the side of the, like an actual road too, not just some sub, like subdivision. Yeah. So he literally walked along down the road in broad daylight and straight up stole this truck, this truck. This is mine now. Bye bye. Dibs. Also, there was a worker still on the truck. Who had to jump off and roll. Oh, that that just raised the whole, um, that could have made the whole thing worse for his sentence then. Oh, Holy yeah. Holy crap. Just did, uh, and, he, and I love, he rolled off down the road and the fiber optic cable was still attached and just, boop. Snap, of course. And the escape plan was to Denny's? Denny's, just show me. Yeah, someone's trying to kill me. Move over my hammy to go. I'm very. I'm in a big hurry. Uh, what, what was the plan? What was the game plan? That's. There's no way he just needed a car, and that's it. No. There, there had to have been more. I mean, fuck's sake, call an Uber. Call a fucking Uber. <laughs> they will cut. Co- you know what? As much as I hate them, if you're in the middle of nowhere, you call an Uber. Someone will come. They'll charge you out the ass for it, but they'll show but, up. But you get home. You get home. Or to Denny's. If you really need to get to the fucking Denny's. Let's be honest. This guy needed Denny's apparently bad. Well, it, it, am I mistaken? Denny's got that artisanal menu now. So. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's going there for the classied up menu. So Come like, on. You, you want that, they got them fancy pancakes now. So you got to get there before, before it's too late. It's a limited time offer, you know. Okay. You can flee the country or $9.99 all you can eat pancakes. Sir, we're open 24 hours. 
We'll see you soon. Oh, there has, I, I've told you this before. Some of these stories, I want to know the reasoning. Why the game, what the game plan was. What the final step was. Like, what the goal. I... I live I I I I live in a state of confusion. <laughs> Poor people in Denny's too. Oh my gosh. This guy what do you also what do you tell everyone like say this guy cleans up his act. Say miraculously 5 years from now if yeah. he's on the straight and narrow applies for a job. Every job application you have to have to fill out have you ever been arrested for anything? And you have explain in a job interview what the heck you did well that worked for arlo guthrie well one time <laughs> okay boom 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 you <laughs> can't get anything you want alice's rest and we're that. for arlo guthrie man and we're for okay that. i don't think this guy's gonna have as much luck no yeah by the looks of it and his mug shot i don't think luck's on his side in any sense in any stage right now but did he get the actual pancakes he got from Denny's? He said he went to the bathroom. Did he at least get to eat? I don't know. That's, because I don't see he's going to be eating Denny's anytime soon. That's the first thing we've learned this week is um, oh. you don't need to get to Denny's that bad, man. You just don't. You don't need to get to Denny's, period. Not that bad. You don't need to get to Denny's that bad, man. Oh, my gosh. Cause, well, you know, no, because no, uh, the, the, they had the Lord of the Rings Denny's, and that was pretty good. They had the Lord of the Rings back a ways, and I like those. But yeah, you don't need the first thing. You don't need to get the Denny's that fucking bad. No one does. Even employees that work at Denny's that are running late, even they don't get the Denny's that fast. They don't care. We've learned that as a general rule, a professional situation in which you have to reveal your testicles is not going to be go very well for you. Ma'am, two thousand, twenty thousand dollars, or the mystery photo. <laughs> You'll never guess what it is if you take the twenty thousand. Oh, we've learned if your justification for crashing a plane is my prosthetic <laughs> leg, though. Maybe your first, first priority should have been getting a license to fly in the first fucking place, because that. My prosthetic leg, though, no one's going to get a whole lot of sympathy <laughs> yeah. for that one. No. You know. Not when you almost take down many people and, and raining death and destruction from the sky. We've learned, ladies and gentlemen, I hate saying these words, duct tape cannot solve everything. <laughs> I, I, and I, I, there's going to be a follow up to that story. I, Let's just call it now. I feel kind of dirty saying the words because I, I am a duct tape evangelist, but duct tape cannot solve every single problem. Ugh. We've learned that you, why would you 30 double cheeseburgers from McDonald's is not worth getting arrested. I mean, really, of all the things worth getting arrested in this world, you ask me right now, I would say a billion dollars. I would say, uh, you know, a once in a lifetime trip to uh, Ireland or Africa or Japan or something like that. I would not say 30 double cheeseburgers from McDonald's. I'm never, I'm not going to be on my deathbed going, I never got 30 double cheeseburgers from McDonald's. It's not worth it. Get off the fucking pole and leave the Golden Arches alone. Get, Get off down. the pole. Do you think that was like the bargaining tool they got him down? We'll make your cheeseburgers fine. Just come down. I'm just, I'm just be. I would be out there like, get down. I mean, <laughs> say the same vocalization I use for my cat. Get down. Okay, come on. That's a child at that point. If he's angry enough to climb the arches, not getting his thirty double cheeseburger. I mean, get down from there. Get down. No. You can have a cheeseburger, just not thirty of them. No. Get down. Get down. That's the same way I talk to Grady when he's doing it. Get down. No. No. He probably, he probably listens eventually, and you don't have to call the cops on him. No, I, I've never had to call the cops on Grady. Right. And finally, <laughs> when you're attempting to prove the world is flat, <laughs> maybe you should go with the less likely to induce death option. It seems a lot more time and financially convenient just to go to a tall building already made or just get a flight 
Yeah. Yeah, just fly. Pl- also, we've also learned flat earthers will throw their money at anything that promises to pander to them. Um, that's Governor Flat Earther. <laughs> we need to respect his opinion as a serious candidate. Oh God, he could fucking win, couldn't he? Look who else has won in the past few years. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs>